Okay, so you have your class set up, your students are in, you've had a nice weekend, it's next week, and you want to go back into your class, and so you come back to kidblog.org. You can get in a couple different ways. Uh, you can type in your address at the top if you type in kidblog.org backslash and then you put in the name of your class, you can get in that way. Or you can hit the login button right here. And it's already in there, but it says seventh grade social studies, which was the name of the class that I created. That is important. You need to uh, remember that part to get in. And you hit go. And it says seventh grade social studies. That looks good. And but you're looking at it and you say first hour. That seems a little bit odd. I'm kind of glad this popped up actually. But I'm going to click on it. And when I click on it and I look at it, I realize right away this is not. Um, what's going on here. This seems very odd. So I'm going to just go back and what I can do in this case is I'm looking at this and it looks all right. I'm going to hit the login button and I'm going to type in my email address. I'm going to click on that. And if you go down and you notice at the bottom, I called mine 7th grade social studies, but for some reason they put dash 4, and it's probably because there are other classes called 7th grade social studies. So um, that's one of the ways you can find it if that has happened to you. It also speaks a little bit to um, making the name of your class something unique. Um, so hopefully nobody else calls it that. And if I click on it this time, now I'm in, now this looks familiar to me, and I'm in the right place. So I'm glad that popped up because that could have thrown you for a little bit of a curve. So now I want to talk about um, how do you make a post. In your case, um, you're the teacher. If you want to click on yourself, you can, or you could have stayed on that last one. Um, and if you want to make a post or any student wants to make a post, you just click on New Post. And you can give your post a title. I'll call this a first assignment. And then I just click into my text box, and it looks like a lot of other word processing text boxes that you've probably seen. Now I'm going to say hello for your first post. Please tell the other students three things you like. Um, so that's pretty quick and simple. You can do it a little bit with the text, not a lot. Um, you have some of your sub ones. You can change the color. I'll keep it black. Uh, you could change look of the font a little bit. Um, and I usually like to make it a little bit larger than they set out with. Um, some of the things you can do, which I like, is you can add links. So you can put in links, which is nice. Um, and then you can also insert uh, media. And so you can put in videos, you can put in um, images, you can do a lot of different stuff. And at the top it says from computer, from the URL, or from the media library. Um, and you can put different things in. So um, I like that feature that you can put different items in. Um, if you have something that you want to embed, they do have an HTML uh, code find this a little bit glitchy. Um, sometimes you have to go back and forth a couple of times to actually get it um, to work, but it does work. So if you like to embed videos, which I do, um, I will do that um, quite a bit. And once you look, see everything looks good. Allow comments should be checked anyway. Um, over on the right, you can save it as a draft if you'd like. Um, you can edit it any time. Uh, I talk to my students about adding tags to things about and how we use tags to organize. So I might say, well, let's call this first. Can't think of any others right now, but you can add as many as you want. You just separate them with a comma. Uh, the nice part is you use more tags throughout the year. Those tags will grow in size for the ones that are used more often than others. So I'm going to hit add. So that will be a tag. And I can preview it if I'd like to. And that's what it's going to look like. That seems to look fine. Um, and the important part is you need to always remember if you want to show up, you have to hit publish. If you don't hit publish, then it won't show up. So if you hit publish, 
it's published and that's what it looks like and um, if somebody would like to leave a comment on mine they can leave a comment right there and that's how you put that in